Hey there, it's Zach. Today we're going to be going over installing Python Django backend framework. This is going to be part of a web series dedicated to making a web app uh, with the front end in Angular 5 and the back end in Python. Uh, this will be done largely on the command line, uh, but you can also do it on, on Windows via the program Sigwin. So first, uh, we're going to do sudo easy install pip. Keep in mind, sudo is super user do. Um, so it might ask for a password, and be sure you know what you're doing before you start throwing the sudo commands in order to get your commands to work. Then I'm going to use pip, which is a Python package manager to install virtual env. I already have it. I'm going to use pip once again to install Django. We're going to set the exact version to 1.8.2. Once you're done with that, you are going to use some of the built-in commands with Django. Um, it's going to be Django-admin.py, start project, and I'm going to call mine log backend. Um, keep in mind, uh, no capitals and only underscore. Now you can see it pop up over here. Uh, we're going to change directory into that newly found directory. Uh, we're going to run a migration known as python manage.py, which is now built into that directory. Run migrate. It's going to make the de dependencies match. Then we're going to use the python command manage.py once more, but instead of migrate, we are going to run server with no space. As you can see here, um, unless you have changed it, it will default to this address, uh, 127001 with a port 8000. I have that up over here, and uh, when we open it, we can now see that we have a Python backend ready to add routing to, uh, to deliver in managed data uh, and backend data as we see fit. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or uh, contact me any way you know how.